Hello, Internet. I am behind something fierce for Halloween this year. Work keeps making me go places. Um, but what I do have today is I've been building up some pirate crates. Here's two examples, just kind of been throwing them together. And I'm going to show you how I build them. It's really simple, super cheap, uh, inexpensive build. You guys can do it at home. All you need is a box. I have a diaper box right here. You need some foam board. This is dollar store foam board, therefore it costs a dollar, and it works great for what I'm doing here. You're also going to want a soldering iron. That's what makes the magic. And then uh, some glue, uh, tape. Uh, you can use packing tape. I've used packing tape here. These ones were all done with packing tape. Uh, I've also got duct tape on this side because I ran out of packing tape. And then paint. So I've got black spray paint to start and then various shades of brown. I've got two shades of brown and then a shade of gray for this box style down here. But play around with the colors and you can make your own shades of whatever. And then I have one black acrylic to do the, the slats. So first thing you do, you take your box and I taped it shut here and then here. Like I said, I ran out of packing tape, which is what I had been using. So I switched to duct tape. I don't really care. It's getting painted over. Okay, tape your box shut, which I've done. Next, you want to cut your foam to make your box uh, outline. Uh, depending on, you, there's all sorts of styles you can do. You know, play around with it, make your own. So I'll, for this box, I'm going to be going with this type of frame on all sides, including the top is going to have a frame just like this. So I have already cut uh, the, these are all two inches wide. That's just how I did it. And I'm going to be arranging them as thusly. So it'll be like that, one here and one here. Okay, so I'm going to be doing, repeating this on all sides, except for the bottom, which I don't care about. Now, before you glue these, if you're going to spray paint your box black, uh, which I do just for the sake of convenience, it's fast, then you would want to spray paint the box black before you glue on the foam board. The reason being that spray paint aerosol will deteriorate foam on contact. So if you spray put these, uh, attach these on and then spray paint, you run the risk of deteriorating your foam a little bit. That's why I recommend spray it black first. I have another box, which I've already done that with right here. So I've already sprayed it black. And then I have glued the foam on this afterwards. And this box is a different style, obviously. So I will be carving this one as well. But right now, I'm going to go spray this black and then come back and glue it on and I'll show you where we're at. Okay, here you have one black box of the non-airplane variety. And I didn't spray the bottom like as I said, I don't care about the bottom, no one's going to see it. So I take my box, I take my foam that I've already cut, my foam board, and then I just get the glue on there. Place it on the edge, like that. So, I have glued all of my foam board slats onto the box. It is now just drying. I'm gonna pull this aside let it dry and what I'm going to show you is once it has dried so this one I glued a while ago what you have to do with this foam board is you have to peel away the outside layer of paper that is attached to the foam board so sometimes they peel off really easily like that one did and sometimes they don't peel off quite as easily and you have to kind of pick at it 
Okay, I've let the glue dry. These are ready to move on to the next step, which is getting your soldering iron, getting it nice and hot, going to a well-ventilated area that is very important. When you deal with melting foam, either with a soldering iron, hot knife, anything, you need to be in a well-ventilated area. The fumes are somewhat toxic. So I'm right next to my open garage door, and here we go. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna carve the wood grain into your foam planks that you've made. Um, and this is my favorite part. I, I enjoy just carving out designs. And so if you, if you need to know what wood grain looks like, just look it up on the internet or find a piece of wooden furniture. Uh, but just go at it. So I just kind of start, you know, doing lines, cut back on them. And yeah, it's kind of do what you want. It's your own show here. Let your artistic talents come out, or lack thereof, in my case. It's uh, kind of hard to mess this step up, just because wood grain being you know, natural, it just kind of flows. So as long as you're just kind of going and flowing and you know, creating little designs and patterns, you should be fine. Here is a better angle and better light to show you the wood grain effect that I carved into these boxes. Um, so yeah, it didn't take very long at all. Just carved all the sides, melted a couple sections pretty good to give you know knots and whatever into the, into the wood, kind of like right there, just melted the, the, plastic, the foam down. And that's what you want to do at that step.
Okay, so that is one completed side. I'm going to do, I'm going to repeat this all the way around and I will show you the finished product. And here you have a finished box. One pirate crate made out of a cardboard box and some foam board. They came out pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to display it in an art gallery. It's going to be dark in a haunted garage. So uh, it works really well for my purposes. And here's the other type right there. Pretty simple, straightforward. And that is how you build these pirate crates using just cardboard boxes, foam board, soldering iron, some paint. Pretty simple, very inexpensive. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. This is Jeff from Scaratoga Screams. Happy haunting.